Do you ever notice how I always start every video? I know. Now, if you know anything about glasses, and sometimes there's those little those little tabs that rest on your nose. I know I keep looking here. I'm sorry. But anyway, you know I have those little tabs. Well, I went to these glass these glass frames a while back because I was tired of those little tabs bending because you know they bend. Anyway, they still slide down my face. This video is a shout out video. Now, I'm gonna make a video maybe today. I don't know. Maybe there. Why don't I just look here? God, sorry guys. Guys and girls, um, this shadow video is special. I'm going to make, sorry, I'm doing, I'm, I'm moving stuff around. I'm going, this shadow video is a special one. I'm going to be making another shout out video, sorry, later on today or tomorrow for a couple of my, uh, my uh, YouTube, a couple of my YouTube subscribers, a couple of, there are a couple, also a couple of my uh, Google Plus uh, brothers that have been with me and, you know, not necessarily on my side because a good friend is neutral. I mean, yeah, they got your back, but if you're doing something fucking stupid, they're going to be the first ones to tell you. Or they'll be the first ones to say, you know what, let's go down in flames together. You know, that's the kind of brothers I have on here too but anyway back to what i was getting at this shout out video is to sarah kinshella um if you guys go check out my channel you'll see i'm, I'm subscribed to her that is my wife sarah kinshella now uh that woman is uh, i'm sure i've said this before but when i was a kid i was always looking for you know a friend you know like like that best friend that was, you know, basically, you know, you how you mentally handpick somebody and that person never exists. It kind of doesn't happen. Well, it took me about 40 years to meet her, but I found her. So, guys, don't give up. Don't give up on what you want in life because it's it's there you can find it and if you don't find it i hope you do i mean or <laughs> i i feel bad for you but anyway sarah is the greatest wife um greatest girlfriend I ever had uh, the greatest friend the greatest partner uh, i've only been married once best wife i've ever had um but no she's she's awesome she puts me first no, I'm not saying that's her job. I'm, I'm just saying she has a tendency to put me and her family and other people first before her. She'll suffer before she'll help anybody else. She is uh, she has supported me. I mean, right now she supports me financially because I can't work because of my back. I am unreliable. I will cause more damage to myself than any good. But she supports me. She has supported me from day one in any ambition that I have. Anything I want to go and pursue to do, she's right there. Do it, honey. Backing me up. Helping me. I'll make suggestions about something. And next thing I know, she's found it or something. You know, when we go and look for something, we find it together. We spend so much time together... But I look forward to every moment of it. I, I love being with her. She's the greatest person I've ever met. The only person that I really hang out with. Because I don't really hang out with people anymore. I just, I don't know. I don't have much patience to deal with people all the time. I know I talked to a couple of my Google friends on here and that. You know, that aside. I just, I'm not a social butterfly outside. But I, I never have too much of her. She's just the greatest. Um... I did. I used to cook a little bit before I met her, but you no, know, not massively. I uh, developed my cook. My I've refined my cooking skills and gotten way, way better at it since I met her because I want to make her happy. I love to cook for her. It makes me feel good. Um, I put a lot of lot of time in the things I do for her. I can't do much for her financially, but you know I. I'm there for her, whatever she needs, I will do what I can. I mean, there's no greater person in that I've ever met. Uh, I know it's rambly blabby. If you don't like it, don't watch. I mean, by all means, it's up to you guys. Uh, I'm just, you know, giving props to the one that backs me up. 
100%. All the time. It doesn't matter. She's there. She doesn't agree with it. She'll say, oh, honey, but you know, whatever. She'll walk a mile on broken glass for me if I ask her to. Would I? No. I'll do it for her. But that's just it. We just com we're just compliantly neutral for towards each other's well-being. And, you know, I didn't want her to go to work today because she's sick. Baby! So I've been bugging her at work, telling her, drink lots of hot tea, take care of yourself, look after your throat, because I don't want you sick. Because she's like after me. No, just kidding. She doesn't do well when she's sick. She suffers and she gets pretty unhappy. And that breaks my heart because she's the best person in the world. I, I, I unconditionally will stand by her. And now, mushy shit, whatever. Okay, it is. But you know what? I'll sit there and I'll watch shows that I never could comprehend watching before I met her. Because I'd be like, hell no, I'm not doing it. But since I met her, I just do it. You know, I watch it after she, you know, I just not watch it because, oh, I don't want to watch this because it's a stupid looking show. But I actually watch it and it's amazing when you're compliant and then you just neutral, how you come down a level and, you know, your own personal, you just relax and enjoy the moment and i do that with her there's a couple shows that she watches i'm not going to get into them but before i met her there's no way in hell i would even give them a second glance but i actually enjoy them now and it's fun but you know that's us being you know compliant and neutral working together she's just i i can't say she's the greatest as there is put it this way she hears i love you probably 20 times a day and i mean every minute of it all i can say if you guys have a good woman or a good man, hey, let them know. Let them know. There is no ego too big to say I love you because you know what? Everybody was loved at one time. And if you weren't, you should have been. Um, give love and respect to the ones that look after and love you and whatnot. Merry Christmas to everybody. And uh, as always, build with passion. All right, guys. I'm going to get back to work working on my uh, links. They're down there. I'll show you later. Okay. Remember, Sarah, I love you, babe.